And you know, I've talked about it on the show a thousand times. It's, it's important to me to know where my food comes from. It comes from right here. That's right. Is this an average day? Every day. I, this is the first time I've been fishing where I know I'm going to my, have to have my back adjusted. These <laughs> things pull. You know, I, I just got done bass fishing in Florida, and I'll go back to Kentucky and search the bass fishing. But these, the, the fight these saltwater fish have is unreal. They do, and every one of them pulls straight down, which puts all the weight on your back. Let's talk about your job. You have, I and mean, a lot of people are going to say, man, he's got the job. But anytime you see something like this, I know how much work goes behind it. What's a typical day for Barry? I, well, right now we got a great crew. They usually get the boat down here and get it ready. Uh, I usually get here about 5, which is just before daylight. And we launch right at daylight and run out 20 miles. They cut all the bait. Once we get there, we all fish. And, uh, you know, our goal is to fill the boat up, and the boat holds 2,000 pounds. Now, there's a lot of a lot of restrictions on what we can and can't catch and, you know, what time of year we can catch them and stuff like that. Now, let's talk about Dauphin Island. Now, I'm fascinated by this little community. I thought I'd been everywhere, but I have not been to Dauphin Island. You grew up here. Tell us about, there's a fort. There's a Civil War fort. It is. Uh, Battle of Mobile Bay took right took place right here between the, between the two forts. Uh, unfortunately, our side didn't last long. I don't think the fort was 100% complete. Didn't have many cannons. Uh, the, the Union fleet put us out in like a day or two. Fort Morgan held on for a little while. Uh, a few days later, and the old famous saying of damn the torpedoes full speed ahead happened right, right off Fort Morgan. And um, there's a buoy still marks the ship where it sunk right there, Admiral Farragut on the Tecumseh. You know what? Nice, sleepy little community. It's not loud, it's not rowdy. They got some good eating. Every restaurant we've tried is just delicious. That's right. There's not many restaurants. No chain restaurants, no chain hotels. It's, it's kind of like small town Kentucky, but with a beach. Now, let's talk about what we caught earlier. Those weren't snappers, no. but they were pretty fun to catch. They are, and they're just as good eating. We can keep as many of them as now, we want. Now, what were those, for those who don't know? Sheep's head. And you can catch those just about anywhere down the Gulf and around. And these, what, what's, what is a state record? What, 13 pounds? 13 pounds. Some of those he's been catching are close. 10, 10 to 12. This time of year, we catch a lot of them in the 10 to 12 pound range. But to jump over that, I don't know if they just don't get any bigger or what, but their uh, their heads start getting shaped funny like they can't they can't get any bigger. Kind of like mine? About mine. I got the funny <laughs> head. I got a big head. <laughs> you know what? This has been so much fun, and we're going to go out and try to get one more before my back just breaks. I'm ready. You're killing me, man. Let's, thanks <laughs> we'll so much. We'll catch all you want. All right, <laughs> sorry.